Hey guys, it's Andy, aka LG, aka Eloggy, here today with an interesting video. At work the other day, one of my co workers acquired the information that I am the local neighborhood Pokemon master, and she asked me if I could not necessarily appraise, but just look over her son's collection of Pokemon cards and, uh, you know, see what I think about it. I told her yes. Uh, what I did not tell her was that I have not opened a pack of Pokemon cards since Gym Challenge back in like the 90s, and I don't really know what's what. Like, for example, just looking at this uh, Snover here, I don't recognize the set symbol. I think I know the general information that will be able to help me, you know, understand some of this, and I actually. I wasn't planning on making this into a video, but about 10 cards, more like 20 cards, into the stack, I was going through it, and it just perplexed me, and I figured this would make an all-around interesting video. So, if you guys are actually, you know, up on your information about Pokemon cards, because I'm not exactly, I, I like Pokemon games, but I'm not really into the cards. I just find this interesting because I've been so into collecting Magic the Gathering cards lately. I just feel like this will be a nice little shake-up, an interesting video for everybody. So, right off the bat, gotta mention that she said these were her son's uh, cards, and they there's definitely where a lot of them are damaged, like this one, this Haunter here. Um, this, this is one that's actually the first one to catch my attention because... Unlike the, this Snover here and some of these other cards, this is actually base set 2, which uh, she said the cards were like, I think she said 10 years old, 10 or 20 years old. So I was not expecting to run into a base set 2 Haunter, unless they reprinted it at some time, but I, as far as I know, that that's like an original base set 2 Haunter. Same with this. Yeah, 19... I don't know if you can see if the, this camera will focus, but that, yeah, that's a ri an, or, an original 1999 uh, Jungle Spiro. So, yeah, these are the ones that interested me in the, the Fossil Grimer classic. Now, um, I did find some foils. I'm assuming, uh, I, I put these in sleeves, by the way. Uh, I'm just to try to preserve some of, if there is value, I don't know, but uh, yeah, they got this Chandelure, it's a little warped. I don't know if foil Pokemon cards are notorious for warping as much as Magic the Gathering cards, but this one, this one's a little not good. A uh, little bent, but not terrible. This Machamp, though, I don't, mm, th this was bad. There was like heavy, a heavy crease right, right here. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, it looks looks good on from what I can see in the viewfinder, but in real life, it's it's pretty bent, pretty bad. Another unfortunate there. This Lugia is another one that uh, not too damaged, but. It is a little, little wobbly. So, uh, again, uh, it, it's Lugia EX, and I, I feel like the EX cards are good and or valuable, so I, I'm putting these in sleeves for her. Um, and then this Dark right here was actually seemingly good condition. At least better than all the rest. Yeah, no, no actual damage to that. Well... A little crease up here, but much, much better than the uh, other cards, which is nice because there's it's like textured and stuff too. Uh, kind of little crease right there too, but still overall very nice looking dark right here. And this this is the first card that stuck out to me. Like I wasn't sure if there would even be any rares or here. Like I think she said her son probably traded so. I expected the worst kids on the schoolyard scum each other out of, you know, the rarest cards. You know, happens happens to the best of us. But uh, this, this Jirachi EX is... I don't know what the deal with this is. It's got a different card back. World Championships 2014. I don't know what that means. I definitely need to look into this. 
or you guys could just let me know in the comments but by the time this video goes out I'll have looked up the answer it's just yeah I really don't know about this one maybe if, if it's like a promo I'm assuming it is but I really don't know either way this is a there's, there's no damage to this one so probably the best one so far and then I got to this Dragonite and wasn't sure I, yeah, I, I got to the back and I was like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, just uh, a lot of wear on the corners, a little bend mark there, but I'm assuming it's Dragonite, so it might be worth something, but probably not in this condition, unfortunately. And that's all the farther I got, so let's just uh, take this pile. Okay, we got Beldum, Pancham, Growlithe, Numel. Look at that, Aaron, bro. Oh, dear. Okay, Lily Pup. Mankey, Muna. Fletchling, Starly. Oh, I did. I also saw this uh, Flareon. I, I wasn't sure why it has a blue border. It has a regular card back, but blue border. I'm not sure why. Um, if you guys know, uh, definitely let me know. And then I, I remember seeing this uh, Dino too, uh, which is a reverse foil, I think they call it. I don't know, but this is another one that's warped pretty badly. So that's a little unfortunate. Okay, Squirtle, Galette, Wartortle, Growlithe. Um, okay, this is not original uh, base set. This must be some reprint. I think when they reprinted this, didn't they... Um, like update some of the attacks and stats too. I don't know. Lampant. Okay, I did see some of this pile because this is where the chandelure was, right? Okay, Flabebe, Hone Edge, Meryl. Okay, this, I don't recognize this Staravia. It's pretty cool looking Staravia there. And two Staravias. Okay. Then we got. A Lolan Geodude, so this is this has to be newer. 2017, yeah. Uh Sun Moon era. So that's something. Another Haunter that must be a reprint. I don't know what that set is. A zoom reel. I don't know if this card is rare. Oh, wait, I think it is. I think I see a star down there. So this this might be rare here. Put this one to the side because I I don't know maybe I missed a few others. Okay, that's uncommon. Where'd that D knight? Yeah, that's a rare. Okay, I'll leave the old school pile here, and this this will be other stuff. Okay. U V. Hmm. Axew, okay. Mighty Yenna. E-Reader Era. That was an interesting one. Ooh. Old school Machop. Yeah, that's... That's an oldie. Ooh, uh, one of the gym, gym cards. Breeding's Hypno. Yeah, I'll put that in a pile over here. Like, th these are the cards that I also collected and recognize. Oh, of course, we got energy. <laughs> Gothitelle is a rare. I'll put that over there. Shinx. Foil Mud. Oh, look at Mudkip. <laughs> that is nice. Twenty fourteen. I do like Mudkip. So, ah, oh, man, look at that back. That is unfortunate. I'm still gonna sleeve that one up. Lapras looks like a rare, so we'll put that there. Lampin. Talo, okay. Looking good. My boy Drud. That was a rare. It looks like all the rares are damaged or creased in some capacity. That's a little unfortunate, but it makes sense if you know they're playing and trading and whatever, so it's just cool. Foil Flareon. Reverse foil. Looks like that is just an uncommon. I don't believe that's... 
too, uh, what am I trying to say? Too big of a valuable uh, card there. Ooh, oh, I was going to say this magnet. Whoa, I, I've been completely <laughs> messing with my, uh, my, my setup here unexpectedly. Uh, yeah, I, I saw the old Magnemite artwork and thought this was original Corsa, but now nah, this must be another reprint. Okay. Ooh, we got a gym card. Pogus Pidgey, nice. And Dunspires. Okay, Miserviz. Houndour, E-Reader Houndour. That is, that is cool. Fennekin, okay, Chinchow, Terrakion, bro, look at that, that's gotta be rare, wouldn't you say, yeah, okay, that's, that's actually good condition too, I don't know if this particular card has much value, but if it does, then this, the best looking conditioned one so far, that's very nice, okay, Marini, Yanma, more energy, the hell was that? <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. Back to the side. Uh, Jungle Venonat, nice. Ekans. Funkaboo. Blaine, Ponyta, Gliger. What? Okay. Uh, oh, Shuckle, Spinda. Halucha looking dank. And Gastrodon, all right. Hmm. Okay. A little more. Uh, whoa. That is a banned Magikarp. <laughs> He's seen better days. Okay, we got a... Oh, okay. Oh, now, now. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We got foils. Guys, look at this Houndoom. That is so sad, bro. So much damage. Oh man. I'm still gonna put it over here, but that's... That is not what we like. Okay, Meganium looking good. You know, little... Little crease marks here and there, but way better than the Houndoom. Yeah, that's, that's good right there. Okay. Now this. Oh my god. I think there are bite marks in this Jolteon, bro. Either way, I believe this card would probably still hold value just because it's original jungle. Yeah, that's... That's... Definitely... Going in that pile. Uh, energies... Slow, bro. Nice. Mmm... Holland Diglett foil. I don't see a rarity attributed to this, so uh, just going to assume the worst. To Blade Eevee, <laughs> Mudkip, hi Mudkip. Um, Persian. Okay, Eevee, Loudred, looking dank. Cubona, and Larvitar. Oh, and a dirty Luxio. Okay. I think I saw some other foils, so... Oh, here we go. Look at that Suicune, bro. That looks gorgeous. Hold up. Let me see this. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Again, I don't know if... Uh, this over here. Uh, both over there, actually. Yeah, that... That is a... Gorgeous looking artwork. I've never, I mean, I, I haven't looked at Pokemon cards since, like I said, 2000 probably, but that is, that's good condition and, you know, great artwork. Definitely putting that in a sleeve. Okay, Weasel, Marie, oh, look at Marie! Fungus, <laughs> mm -hmm. Growlithe, and Sprina, Porygon, okay, Slurpuff, is this a rare? 
It is. And look at that crease mark. Ah, uh, hate to see it. Okay. Layer on. Ooh, real damage there. Bottle me. Okay, I feel like these cards are glued together. Oh, oh just, just barely. <laughs> Uh, okay, this gotta be rare. No, Darmanitan on a common. Huh. Okay, but what is this? Ampharos, and why is it warped? That is like Hyper Pringles. <laughs> Magic, is that you? Okay, that's, that's definitely rare, though. Probably. Probably better sleep. Ooh, Swampert, nice. Got like full art. It's still warped as hell, but <laughs> that can probably be pushed out a little. That's it's decent condition too, other than the warp, bro. Like, yeah, that's that's good right there. Okay, well we're almost done with the pile. Bonita energy, reprint Vulpix, Riolu, cute Dratini. Like there's a car behind that. Sableye. Okay. Unknown. Johto era. I, I do remember this era too. I think I'm gonna put that with that. Ooh, foil Greninja and foil Feraligator. Man's had had the trio of Swampert, Feraligator, and Gren. So we got a got a water trainer out here. That's cool. Uh, Jumpluff, that is a rare, okay. It's got a, all these energies are water too. I guess he must have been playing the game? I don't know. I feel like you need more energy to make decks and stuff, but I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> this Agron has been through it. Look at him though, he's using that head smash. Bro, I don't think this one's salvageable, but I'm still gonna put it over there. Okay, cute little dead in there. Rocket Drowsy, okay. Grimer. Uh, reprint Radita. Ooh, Glaceon. Interesting. This one is a rare. But the Flareon was just an uncommon, was it not? It's, got, it's the blue border. Yeah. I don't get it. I'll put them, put them both together. Don't know why Flareon is uh, not rare. Hashtag uh, stop bullying Flareon. Ooh, Corset to uh, Squirtle. Nice. And then what do we got here? These last two cards. This one feels weird. I don't know if this is a sticker, but it doesn't feel quite right. Um, yeah, it looks real glossy on the back. Uh, I don't know if this is a real card or not. If it is, I'm sure it's valuable because EX cards are always in I, I just don't think this is real based on how glossy that back is. It looks like a sticker, but I don't know. I'll put it over there. And uh, kind of Charizard EX. This one, presumably real, but terrible damage. Uh, more unfortunate. Well,. That was Jessica's son's uh, Pokemon card collection. I have no idea how much value is in here. There's definitely some cool stuff. Um, a lot of newer cards as I expected, but a surprising amount of older cards too. And of course these are all the ones I would imagine have some kind of value, especially like this week and probably the best conditioned one here, maybe? Debatable, but I don't know. I forgot about this direct. Anyway, 
If you sat through this whole video, let me know what you guys think. You all are probably way more into Pokemon cards than I am, so you'll be able to let me know. But either way, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day, guys.